السلام عليكم ورحمة الله uh, Here is uh, another new video uh, We will discuss here uh, multiple choice questions uh, on uh, calcium channel blockers uh, This is group is very important and used for to treat uh, hypertension uh, angina uh, with different types and anti drug uh, and please don't forget to subscribe uh, this channel uh, to receive to get all notifications about uh, new uh, videos for the further uh, drug groups the first question uh, nifedibine with trade name brocardia is being initiated for a patient with elevated blood pressure what health teaching would be most appropriate? The patient should. The first option, why daily at the same time each day? Second option, avoid crowds while taking this medication. Third option, increase intake of calcium containing foods. And the last option, take this medication only when feeling that blood pressure is elevated. Uh, health uh, teaching will include the correct answer which is the answer is the first option rational a major complication associated with administration of calcium channel blockers such as nifedipine is heart failure daily weighing will alert the patient to signs of load retention which may indicate cardiac dysfunction a weight gain of 1 kg or more in 24 hours indicate visible fraud retention and may signal impending heart failure. While option 2, 3, and 4 are incorrect, nifedipine does not affect the immune system and there is no reason to avoid crowds. The intake of oral or dietary calcium and calcium channel blockers has not been shown to be problematic. Hypertension is asymptomatic and patients should be instructed to make the medication even when feeling healthy. Second question. A patient is receiving nifedipine for hypertension. In the care plan, the nurse includes the need to monitor the patient for which adverse effects. The first adverse effect is rash and chills. Second is greased urinary output, third weight loss, and reflex tachycardia. The correct answer is the far last option. Well, because nifedipine may cause hypertension with associated reflex tachycardia. While option one, two, and three are incorrect. Rash and chills increased urinary output and weight loss are not adverse effects of calcium channel blockers. Third question. A patient with primary hypertension has started therapy with parabamine, which has read name Kalan. The nurse performs what important intervention during the initial course of this treatment? The first intervention uses an electric, electric razor to shave the patient, monitors the patients for increased thrombocyte levels. Third intervention administers the medication only during working hours. And the last intervention measures intake and output ratio, output ratio and daily weight. The answer is number four. An adverse effect of verapamil is heart failure, which will be reflected in the patient's intake and output ratio and weight gain for more than one kilogram per 24 hours. While option one, two, three, and four are incorrect, verapamil does not affect coagulation or affect thrombocytes. Verapamil is usually given during hours that the patient is awake. However, it can be administered at any time. The fourth question. 
The nurse determines that the patient understands an important principle in self-administration of nifedipine, procardian. When the patient makes which statement? The first statement, the use of antacids when taking a medication will enhance absorption. Second option, grapefruit juice may enhance the absorption of nifedipine. Third option, if I miss a dose, I should take two nifedipine capsules when I remember. And finally, this drug will make my birth control pills ineffective. The correct answer is option number two. Grapefruit juice will enhance the absorption of nifedipine which is an example of food-drug interaction. While option 1, 3, and 4 are incorrect, nifedipine should not be taken with antacids since this will affect the absorption rate of drug. Patients should never double the dose of nifedipine because life-threatening hypotension could result. Nifedipine does not affect the efficacy of path control pills. The last or the fifth question, what health teaching, teaching should the nurse provide for a patient receiving ferapamil killer? Select all that apply. The first teaching, avoid driving or performing other activities requiring mental alertness until the effects of the drug are known. Second, option maintain adequate fluid and fiber intake to facilitate the stool passage. Third, health teaching report weight gain of 2 kg per week. Fourth option, rise slowly from long periods of sitting or lying down. And finally, immediately stop taking the medication if sexual dysfunction is noted. The correct answers of this question are 1, 2, three and four. Verapamil reduces the patient blood pressure which may result in syncope or dizziness. Until the effects of the medication are known, the patient should avoid driving or other activities requiring mental alertness. One of the adverse effects associated with verapamil and calcium channel blockers is constipation, which can be reduced by increasing fluid and dietary fiber intake. Verapamil may cause orthostatic hypotension. To ensure safety, patients should be instructed to rise slowly from sitting or lying positions. Patients should be told to report weight gain of 1 kg, 2 pounds per day, or 2 kg, 5 pounds per week. Option 5 is incorrect. Sudden discontinuation could cause the patient to experience hypertensive crisis. Here is a question without answer, please. I will be pleasure if you comment your answer and write your name if it's possible. This is possible. The question is a healthcare provider has ordered NFDB, Procardia XL for each of these patients. An nurse will most closely monitor which patient which patient for drug-related problems. The first option is a patient who is admitted for an appendectomy in the morning, or a patient who is receiving renal dialysis three times per week, or a patient who develops pulmonary edema in the intensive care unit, or a patient who receives psychotropic drugs for bipolar disease. This, these was the questions. Thanks for watching and please subscribe now. Thank you.